it's not the heat, it's the humidity. People say this because humidity, which is the amount of water vapor in the air, can make hot temperatures even more unbearable than they already are. Humidity is actually a broad term, and we can describe different types of humidity in different ways. Humidity is an important thing to understand because it affects both weather and climate, as well as global climate change. Humidity also affects indoor environments, so understanding it can help you determine the best place to store your books, clothing, and other important items in your house. You've probably heard about relative humidity in weather reports. This is the amount of water vapor in the air relative to what the air can hold. Think about it this way. If you have a cup that is half full of water, the cup contains 50% of what it can hold. Air works the same way. Let's say that a certain parcel of air can hold 30 grams of water vapor per cubic meter of air, but it only has 15 grams of water vapor per cubic meter of air. We simply divide the amount of water present by the amount of water possible, so 15 divided by 30, and then multiply it by 100 to get a percent. So in this case, 15 divided by 30 equals 0.5, multiplied by 100 gives us 50%. So the relative humidity is 50%, which means the air contains about half of the total water vapor it could possibly hold. It's important to know that warm air can hold more water than cold air. You can think of different temperature air like different size cups. Smaller cups hold less water than larger cups, right? In this case, cold air is a smaller cup and warm air is a larger cup. So when the air is colder, the same amount of water vapor will produce a higher relative humidity than the same amount of water vapor in warmer air. This is because we have to consider the amount of water vapor relative to what the air can hold. Let's look at an example. You have two cups, one that can hold a maximum of 12 ounces and one that can hold a maximum of 24 ounces. Now, put six ounces of water in each cup, and you'll notice that the smaller cup is fuller than the larger cup, even though they have the same amount of water in them. There are six ounces of fluid in the 12-ounce cup, so six divided by 12 times 100 equals 50%. There are six ounces of water in the larger cup as well, but this cup can hold a total of 24 ounces. So, six divided by 24 times 100 equals 25 percent. If the 12 ounce cup represents cold air and the 24 ounce cup represents warm air, the relative humidity for the cold air is 50 percent, but for the same amount of water in warm air, the relative humidity is only 25 percent. How full the cup is relates to how much the cup can hold overall. When we apply this to air, we can see that for the same amount of water vapor, the relative humidity will be higher for cold air than for warm air because the cold air is fuller from the same amount of water.